Good morning everyone, what is up? How are you doing today? I wanted to make another morning routine video, which is what this video is. Um, I haven't made one in like a year, I think, or maybe like 11-ish months or so. Um, everything's pretty much the same, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been doing differently for Pina, and I just wanted to make another morning routine video, so that is this video, and then if you stick around till the end, you will see they're literally all <laughs> on top of me right now um if you stick around till the end of this video i will be doing like a raw uh raw food unboxing from raw feeding miami i got my order in today so i will be doing that as well everybody is waiting for me to do something they're actually waiting to get breakfast Good morning, beans. Good morning, bean heads. Oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, poops. Good morning, Tog. Here, poop girl. Come on, Toggy. Toggy beans. Weensy peensy. Good morning, stinkiest boy. Good morning, stinky, stinky ears. Good morning, kitty toe. I love you so much. Boink. And this is the first step of a morning routine. They roam, they lick, they itch, they wake up, they're very sleepy. Good morning. Can you guys tell that I'm using, can you hear the fan? <laughs> can you guys tell that I'm using an actual camera? I'm not using my phone. I hope that it's better quality because my phone has been bunned these days. Does Pina look, look beautiful in HD, 4K? I'm not sure. It's an actual like vlog camera too. I got it for my brother because he like started a vlog <laughs> channel and I was being nice and supportive but he never uses it because he stopped making videos because he is lazy. So now it's mine. Meanwhile, I literally bought him a nice camera but I use my phone all the time. <laughs> oh, good morning. Good morning, kitty doe. He's so handsome. He got the cutest face in the world. Now once everybody's playing, we gotta dodge the weenies. Hi, handsome. Focus, focus, yes. And then I take out the curtain. No, 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 no. You can't come up right now. Not yet. Not yet, I'm so sorry. We can play later, we can come upstairs later. Just wait. My refrigerator with a lot of human food because I live with my family. <laughs> Some duck eggs and chicken. I also take this guy out. You're probably like, uh, why are you using that? Because I focus. You're probably like, why are you using this? Because I used to use this for Narnar, but I will explain in a minute. Hello, big body. It's not for you. Not for you. Move. Move, Zuna. Excuse me. Oh, we love you. Oh, we love you. I love you so much, but it's not for you. No, it's not for you. Ta-da, the essentials. Chicken, three bowls. Can you see that's three? This ES Clear, hot water, paper towels because we're running out downstairs, my coffee. Um, this is a vinegar and water mixture I use as a natural cleaner, and some peppers. I'm going to feed them to the ferrets. I'm just kidding. And my dad's reading glasses. Those are obviously not for <laughs> the ferrets. They are homegrown though, in the backyard. Back downstairs. Wow! Good morning! Oh my goodness. No, not yet. We'll play later. I'm sorry, I don't have your food yet. It's warming up. Or defrosting, I should say. He's like, what do you mean that you don't have our food? I will sit here and I will wait until you get my food. I will not move. 
Neither will I, says Jinxie. Just kidding, she moved. Now that the cage is beautiful and cleaned, I go upstairs and make their food, but look how annoying. Their lights, this whole side for some reason, is out, or it's just not working, but they're from the same like string of lights, so I'm not comprehending what is occurring with that. And then I take out their old food bowl from last night, and I make sure to bring it upstairs. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, handsome? You hungry? You hungry? Jinx can't hear me. And Toggy is like, Mom, I'm starving! You can hear the laundry draining in the background, but are you ready for crazy town? One, two, three. Zuna's like, uh, dinner, question mark, or breakfast? One, two, three. Boing! I bring everything down one by one because I only have one hand right now. I had to lock them down there just for a second because they never let me grab all the food and then go down there at the same time. So I do use wee wee pads now to keep the floor clean. I know they're waiting. They're like, I'm starving. I use, oh, yeah. <laughs> really? I do use wee wee pads to keep the floor clean now just because I used to use um, like towels to be more environmentally conscious, environmentally friendly, but the meat would always get stuck in the towels and it was so hard to clean. Jinxie. And if the floor, if this floor gets wet, it, like if I just fed them on the floor and then they would get meat everywhere. One, there's ants down here because it's summer and it's gross and I try to keep it as clean as possible. Poggy! He's knocking everything down. And then two... Um, since it's wood and it's kind of old down here, the, like, wood will start to raise and that's gross and I don't want that. So I, unfortunately, wee-wee pads are my best bet. And here's where we find out that I am a flawed human just like everybody else. I have <laughs> two, these cups were from dinner last night and breakfast yesterday, forgot to bring them upstairs. Um, I have my supplements kind of just laying around, but not the cleanest, but whatever. Oh, okay, so also... I'm actually going to be using this taurine that I got from Now Foods. Focus, please. Hello. Focus! Okay, whatever. Um, like 90, 80 to 90% of the time I use hearts as a natural source of taurine in their food, but sometimes I'm in a rush and I can't do that, which is today. I didn't have any hearts defrosted, so I'm actually going to be using this one. This is a brand that I really like. I don't know why it's not focusing, but yeah, just know, oh, there you go. But just know that I am in support of using supplements every once in a while as opposed to using all natural ingredients if that's all you have. It's better than nothing because, especially when you feed grinds, um, it can deplete the taurine, the taurine content a lot in the grinding process, so I would rather have it in this form if I can't do hearts that day then nothing at all and I don't add it every single day but most days well, most days I'll feed like hearts and stuff but uh, the days that I don't I will just do a little sprinkle of taurine and that does just the same as we probably know by now Jinx and Kitty Toe get prednisolone Kitty Toe gets whoa why did I just say his name like that Kitty Toe gets 0.25 in the morning Jinx gets 0.2 so that's what these two little bowls are so I just syringe it and put it in there I'm not gonna record it because it's hard to do actually here look I'll just show you the syringe part and then I just mix it in just do a little sprinkle in each really don't need that much and then yeah so okay here's the deal with this you gotta shake it up so this is actually please focus this is a part of the supplements that I gave Nar when he had his lymphoma and he would can this focus I need you guys to see the ingredients <laughs> um dude come on so uh, hold on whatever I'll just talk while it's trying to focus I hope so the ingredients in this are actually from a formula called uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing right Essiac it's this doctor in the 20s her name was Cassie or Casey I think um developed this formula that apparently cured cancer. And I really genuinely believe that this helped Narnar so much. And can this focus? I really want you guys to see the ingredients. Um, whatever, long story short, Pina, the other, hold on, let me uh, make this focus and then I'll talk. Okay, so it's focusing like this, whatever. So these are the ingredients. It's burdock, uh, sheep, sorrel, 
slippery elm, and Chinese rhubarb. So these ingredients were apparently used to more or less cure cancer in the 20s by the doc this doctor or this nurse. She swore by it. Um, it was almost approved by the FDA as a literal cure for cancer, apparently, and some reason they just never cured it, but that's, I mean, never approved it, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, so Pina, the other day, like about two-ish weeks ago now, I noticed two super enlarged lymph nodes under her neck. They were so swollen, they felt just like NARS, and I was panicking, and I read that you can give the supplement, it's apparently helped put a human, a woman, uh, her lymphoma into remission. I'm not saying Pina had lymphoma, I honestly don't know, but these are all natural herbs, so I was like, let me just see, let me just put two drops in each morning, and her lymph nodes are completely down and back to normal. She's not lethargic. She was acting lethargic and sleepy and all of that. And now she is acting perfectly fine. So I went from two drops in the morning. Now I'm just giving her one drop in here. And eventually I'm just going to wane her off of it because honestly, I don't, I'm praying to God it's not lymphoma, but it was just such a coincidence. It was nuts. It was the same exact symptoms that NAR had the same way that it started for him. And using this supplement, like, seemed to help. So I honestly... I encourage you guys to do some research on SCAC, I think I'm pronouncing it right, because there's a lot of research out there, out there and it is just extremely interesting to me. had some scrambled eggs for breakfast and I do let Jinxie have a little bit because they can have eggs and she is an egg fiend. She loved them. Jinxie. Just make sure that you don't put anything in them. No salt, no pepper, no, no nothing. I always make a little bit of extra for them when I'm having eggs. Mr. Kitty Doe is also an egg lover. Kato, here. And that is pretty much our morning routine. What peensy girl? I have to go to work right now, and then I will be back later to check on them, obviously. And then I like to bring them upstairs so they can have a little more room to play because obviously as everybody knows they only have the basement but throughout the day I bring them upstairs so they can roam get a little more enrichment because they get bored just being in here this is Pina's go-to sleeping spot by the way now she loves this little mat thingy that I got them it was supposed to be part of a tent but the tent broke so she just gets the pillow but yeah I'm gonna be doing a video soon actually of getting them like some new toys down here because some new enrichment ideas just because having them uh as this as their main room granted like it is a very large basement but they need more enrichment ideas so i'm going to be getting new toys i try to like swap out stuff in here periodically that way they have new things to do because i don't want them to get bored 
So that'll be a video in the future. And that concludes my morning routine. I am now going to work. I like to leave the gate open for them so they have a little more room to run. They can, you know, run up the stairs, explore, whatever, the stairs. <laughs> and they usually just put themselves to sleep anyway, TBH. There's Kitty Oh my god, this camera moves, zooms in extremely slowly. That's Kitty Doe. Weensy girl, that's her go-to spot. Jinx is, can you see her? She's moving in here. And then Talgi is actually underneath. Oh, jeez. It's underneath. Hold on. <laughs> Just give it some time. Talgi's underneath the treadmill because he... Where's my finger? Under there. Because he loves to go under there for some reason. He likes to sleep under there. So... That is that. Oh, it goes wrong way. I let them free roam. Turn the light off. So it's not as hot down here. But of course, the lights are broken. Like, that side is not doing anything, but whatever. Okay, and if you have made it this far and want to see a little raw feeding unboxing, then stay tuned. Zuna already knows that she's getting something. So I get... Oh god, I hate the noise of styrofoam. Oh my gosh. Hey, wait, <laughs> wait, stop. These are dehydrated um, pork snouts for Zuna and she knows that they're there so I'm gonna give her one really quick. Keep her distracted. Gentle. All right, get out of here. <laughs> So this specific order is from Raw Feeding Miami. I will show you what I get. I usually get from Raw Feeding Miami as my online retailer, and then I'll get a lot of stuff in my local grocery store and Asian markets. And I've been, I also got uh, grinds last time from Viva Raw, and I really like them, but this is Raw Feeding Miami. So these are just the items that I got this order. I got some goose grinds, duck grinds, chicken grinds. Uh, this is goat's kefir for my dog. Chicken grinds, some duck breast that I'm gonna make treats out of, and rabbit grind. I hope that you guys enjoyed our morning routine and unboxing of their raw food. See you guys next time, bye.